Removing the fuel pump. Remove the side panel. Remove the fuel line from the intake hose barb and bleeder valve if installed. Remember that if the furnace is mounted below the fuel tank, it will be necessary to pinch off the fuel line to prevent siphoning. Unscrew the intake hose barb and the bleeder valve. Remove the nut securing the fuel pump to its bracket. Remove the power wires from the bottom of the pump. Remove the clamps and hose from the bottom of the air accumulator. Unscrew the air accumulator assembly from the side of the pump. On reassembly, first reinstall the air accumulator assembly to the output side of the fuel pump and attach the power wire to its stud on the bottom of the pump. Reattach the output hose to the bottom of the assembly and slide the isolator studs through their mounting holes on the bracket and put the nuts and washers on, but do not tighten them. This is to allow some wiggle room when reattaching the intake hose barb and the bleeder valve. Tighten the fuel pump nuts when you're done. 